I'm Monty Boblin, host of Pleasure Island Conversations, the area's only talk, information, and entertainment program. Hi, I'm Brooke McIntyre, and today I'm here with Pleasure Island Conversations. I'm filling in for Monty Bomblin. He's recently recovering from surgery. But our guest today is... Nakia Hamilton. Hi. How you <laughs> Good doing? Good to see you. Good to see you, too. Why don't you tell us a little bit about yourself and how you got into the film industry? Um, well, I'm Nakia Hamilton. I'm a filmmaker. Uh, basically, I write, but I'm not a writer, but I do write screenplays. Um, I'm a director. I really don't title myself as that, but I do direct films, and I basically make movies and sell them. The way I got started was I was performing the music, producing songs, and actually traveling, creating music. And one day I just told God that, you know, I wanted to do what he wanted me to do. And I was led through a situation to uh, contact the cable station and ask them about putting a show on TV. And it took me nine months to get it together. But by the grace of God, I was able to put a show on TV. I ran it for two years. Um, the way everything was set up, I couldn't make any money. So it was a true experience for me because I had to basically purchase and make everything happen myself. And the learning experience was amazing. Um, and it kind of led me to the point I am now. After two years, I just kept creating projects and meeting people. And uh, what an amazing day I met Brooke McIntyre. <laughs> <laughs> and being in Christian, being, having Christian films, does that affect you in a different way than if you were just filming like regular movies or what well, yes um because i have to be more conscious and i have to remember you know um i'm playing by a different set of rules so you know there's certain things other people can do just because but i have to be conscious um for example you know being a believer uh that some believers you know they still drink wine or whatever but just to be conscious, you know, you are responsible for your influence on other people. So if there's somebody that's coming to my house and I know they they had a problem with drinking or whatever, and I have some friends over there want a glass of wine, we prefer not to do that so we won't be that influence. And it's the same thing in filmmaking. I just have to be very conscious about what I make, but at the same time, um, I still have to be creative and use the gifts God gave me to open doors to inspire other people. So. Mm -hmm. Was it difficult getting into the industry being, you know. Well, yes, and yes and no. Um, those moments I was trying to do it on my own, it was very difficult. But when I just allow God to move in my life, stuff just happened. Like uh, one day I was filming in Raleigh and I was inspired to make a movie about women with alopecia. And when I was leaving, God spoke to me and told me to create that film. And I wanted to do it right then my way, but he was like, wait. So being hard-headed, I wrote it anyway. And uh, when I got finished, I looked at it. It was absolutely horrible. It was, you know, unsensitive and everything because I didn't know. And the reason why he wanted me to wait because that was a learning experience I needed. And after I started learning different things and made another project and I grew, once I created that film, it made so much sense just to wait and it made everything easier. And I got a phone call. I just promoted it, got a phone call from a distribution company, said, we want to release your film. Mm -hmm. Then next thing you know, psh, me and that company is making films back to back. Nice. So, yeah. And we actually met through a movie that you made called Let Go, Let God. Do you want to tell a little bit about what that's about? Well, Let Go, Let God is about two people that have this experience in life um, that caused them to question God's existence. And through that experience um, of trying to find a little boy, uh, they have their own revelation of the truth about God's experience. And um, it, it was just an amazing project. You know, I could talk about that all day. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, I was kind of a new actor and I kind of just showed up. Just, do you have a spot for me? Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> do you usually find new actors and actresses or do you have more experienced actors? You know, how well, does the process, like the picking process go? I tried, well, one thing I focus on is commitment and I like to meet people and I like to work with people that I knew through somebody else, you know? So somebody's a credible person and they understand my work ethic and what I'm trying to do, then, and they present somebody to me, then I'm willing to work with those people. Um, and the day and time that we're in, the industry is a little different than before. So it's easy for people to get involved. So it's easy to find people that are not serious, just see opportunity. And um, 
so that's why if you remember i met with you and your dad we talked and kind of walked through a few things and i was really was just looking for chemistry like is this somebody i can work with mm -hmm. um on set for a whole day and uh you know everything worked out i mean we started laughing and joking and that's the way i like to meet people as far as working on a film i mean when you work with like bigger actors like clifton powell there's only one way you go through the agent and mm -hmm. you pay the money and it happens but when it's somebody like how I met you, I like to meet the people, develop the relationship, and see if it's somebody I can have fun with on set. What would you say one of your biggest challenges you faced in the industry? Hmm. There's a few, but believe it or not, dedicated people. That That is, uh, and it's one thing that I thought would never be a challenge, and mm -hmm. I think it's because the structure of the industry has changed. You know, mm -hmm. back in the day, $5 million movie was an independent film. Now, a $100,000 movie is an independent film. And because of that, there's so much content, so many platforms, it's easy for people to get into the industry. So you got Tom, Dick, and Hank that, you know I mean, really have no passion, mm -hmm. just the opportunity to jump in. And you have people that are not willing to dedicate themselves and go through that journey and make those sacrifices to get to that point and that journey and sacrifice where you learn ethic and how to operate on set and be respectful and how important and the sacrifice other people have made, you know? Um, and because people don't have that, they, that they're just not dedicated, show up late and different things. But if you just keep working, working, then you find those few people like you, you know, like Nelson Davis and other people that are dedicated, hard workers, and you're able to make great projects and, you know, actually love what you do. It's a marathon, not a race. Yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, we'll be right back with Pleasure Island Conversations with McKee Hamilton. Registers Auto Glass, Wilmington's leading full-service glass shop. We can repair chips, nicks, and cracks in any automobile, anywhere, anytime. Can't come to us, we'll come to you. With our fleet of seven mobile repair units, our professional installers can tackle any job. Come visit our new location at the corner of Wrightsville Avenue and Dawson Street. With the area's largest full-service glass shop, we are here for all your auto, residential, and commercial glass needs. Lowest down payment, low monthly. For over 60 years, Protective Agency has been offering the lowest price and down payment on quality auto insurance. Look in the white pages for the location nearest you and start saving big. When an accident happens, we're the company that cares. Lowest down payment, low monthly rates. Just call Protective Agency. Welcome back. Um, I'm Brooke McIntyre, and I'm here with Nikia Hamilton. Recently, I read that you have one of the top 15 Christian movies to see um, in the Women's Day magazine. How does that feel? It feels great. It was a great experience. I found out through Joel Allstreet Church when they contacted me about showing our film, and I asked them how did they find out about our movie, and they mentioned that it was in the Women's Day magazine as a top uh, one of the top 15 Christian films. So I went looking up online and there was our film with other films that people have made. And it was listed one of the top 15 Christian films to watch in 2019. And um, stuff like that is just truly God moving because I had nothing to do with that. You know, that's just God moving on my behalf. Um, that's just him opening doors for me. So it was just amazing opportunity. And, um, you know, I mean, you should feel great too because you, you're in the movie, so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, definitely working with you was one of my first times ever working in the film industry and it was very, it was very, it was a lot different than I thought it would be. I was expecting it to be very like in intimidating, but as soon as I walked in, like you were very welcoming, you showed me the ropes and exactly what I needed to know to succeed in the industry and like it was a really great experience. So. And I'm, you're welcome. I'm glad you said that also because one thing I like to do, I don't like people to be feel tense working on set. I like people to be comfortable because I think at that point we can say things to each other and critique each other, criticize each other for the better without people, you know what I mean, mm -hmm. going to a shell and not really expressing themselves on film as they work on the project. 
So that's very important. But at the same time, I understand I have to figure people out and understand, like, uh, love them where they are at. Because some people, you do have to kind of be kind of an iron fist because they will get, how can I say it? They, they will get kind of laid back, you know? You have to learn the person and how you can. Yeah, yeah, work. yeah. Mm-hmm. And because um, I don't want my kindness to be uh, misled. Yeah, misled and also make a weakness for them. You know, I want them to perform their best. You know, some people you can't rah, and nine times out of 10, that's not the way you go about it. But um, you really want to make people feel comfortable and feel confident about what they're doing. Is it ever difficult working with different people or if it is difficult, do you just not work with them? Well, I understand that some people is going to be difficult, but I try to look at the reason why. If you're like late all the time, you know, and things like that, then, you know, this is probably not for you, mm-hmm. you know, but if it's something where you're just growing and you, you're new to what's going on, then that's absolutely fine. I can accept that. But I want to grow with you because I was at that point to where I needed help. I needed somebody to allow me to make mistakes to grow. Mm-hmm. And um, I think that's why mentors and things like that are so important because they help you uh, get a quicker understanding of those things when you make a mistake and they keep you going. So. Um, yeah, there, there's been some people that have been difficult to work with, but in understanding, you know, who those people are and why was this situation difficult and, you know, respond accordingly to that. Mm-hmm. Well, would you like to ask me any questions about anything? Yes. Uh, what happened when the car got stuck when we were driving? <laughs> Wait, when? All right, we were filming Lego Let God, and this was a funny, actually kind of funny to me. I mean, I'm not sure it was funny to her, but she had a scene where she was driving. And while she was driving the car, I believe we needed her to turn around. Then uh, the audio uh, guy calls me and says, the car is stuck. <laughs> like, one tire was in the mud. I'm not sure how that happened, but, um, like, just, and I was just joking about telling about that, but what was your experience like working with Lego Let God? Uh, it, was, it was really great. I... As I said before, I was really intimidated at first, but as soon as I got into the environment and learned the people and what we were doing, it was really, really fun. And we, we did get a car stuck. I was, <laughs> I was 15 at the time, and I just had my learner's permit, so I hadn't really driven a lot. <laughs> and there was one scene where I had to hit, not actually hit a kid, but I had to hit a kid, and I had to turn. It was like a super narrow road, and I had to turn around, and I backed into a ditch. <laughs> and I was like, so I called him up and I was like, I kind of got the car stuck. And that was, yeah, that was crazy. And also one other time we were in the store and we were in the middle of filming and um, there's a movie called The Shack. And me and my dad have always kind of joked around that they call him Papa. We, we've always thought that was really cool. And this man walks in and everyone kind of turns around and looks at him. And we were all just, we got this weird, like, vibe as yeah. soon as he walked in. Mm-hmm. And my dad was just talking about the movie um, and just, like, telling some man about it. And he walks in and he's like, hey, what are you guys doing? And we're like, we're filming a movie, like, go, like, God. And he's like, oh, that's awesome. Like, what's y'all's name? And he's like, my name's Papa. And we were all like, <laughs> He was oh. just talking about that and just, you know, how they liked the movie so much. That was, mm-hmm. that was interesting. It was, it was, it was crazy. And then he just like this movie's gonna be great like i'm so happy for you and he just left and we were all just kind of like that was weird Weird. like it it was so weird but we've had a bunch of have you had any people come to you after the movie to tell you any like experiences they've had or i had quite a few people come to me um like i mentioned with the lady but um i've had people that that basically just tell me um she was going through a rough time. It was the actor um, that was in the movie, and she said just the movie came across her page, and just looking at the poster and the title, title, excuse me, told her that she had to let go of this and just let God have it. Mm-hmm. And just that presence of the movie being there, because and it taught me that sometimes it's not even people watching the whole movie. You know, it's just it's just as important to share it on Facebook to share it on Instagram. 
so people can see the poster and the title you make is so important. Sometimes you can't focus on a title so much to just sell, but also to impact people. Mm -hmm. And just from her seeing the poster and reading that title, it was like a moment where God spoke to her and told her to just let go and let God mm -hmm. have it. That's actually happened to me, just reading it. It's like actually gotten me through. Like I just wow. think about it and I'm like, I just need to let go and just let wow. him handle the situation. So, and how can we learn more about you and get your information? Uh, you can go to my website, ilovemyvideo.com, um, Nakia T. Hamilton on Facebook and Instagram. This September, Let Go, Let God will be released on PBOD platforms. That's like uh, transactional platforms. Uh, like Amazon, and also this September, the movie Secure the Bag will be in 1,300 Walmart in the United States. Oh, well, it was great talking to you, and Pleasure. stay tuned for what we have for Lowest down payments, low monthly rates, Protective Agency. For over 60 years, Protective Agency has been offering the lowest price and down payment on quality auto insurance. Look in the white pages for the location nearest you and start saving big. When an accident happens, we're the company that cares. Lowest down payment, low monthly rates, just call Protective Agency. Across the Canvas Production is proud to be partnering with Bob Bobby Watson's Carter County Speedway. Here is Bob Lowry to tell us more about it. Hey, hello folks. My name is Bob Lowry. You're welcome to Bobby Watson's Carter County Speedway. We are proud to have you here today as we tell you a little bit about the finest short track in the country right here in Cape Carter, Pelletier, North Carolina, right here on the Crystal Coast. We invite you to come down, be a part of a family-friendly um, one of the nicest racetracks all the way around from the infield. We have a restaurant, a grill called Moonshiners, a lot of history, a lot of memorabilia in there. All the way around this track is filled with memories and it's because of my friend Bobby Watson and the dream that he had some 22 years ago to start this uh, track, to build it to be one of the finest in the country and we have achieved what he wanted to do. And now, Bobby passed away. He left us last year in October. And uh, now I've inherited this track. I've inherited the right to keep his dream alive is what I've inherited. And, uh, and I'll tell you what, I've got a lot of friends that has helped me along the way. A lot of great sponsors across the Canvas Productions. You know, they have been a big part of this. And uh, Mr. Lance there, of course, some of the marketing, some of the, the interviews and some of the folks that he's helped nurture their careers, their, um, you know, bring them right along almost from, you know, from the very beginnings, from go-karts right on up to the late models. And uh, he is uh, very instrumental in a lot of marketing and getting the word out about Bobby Watson's Carteret County Speedway. Bobby Watson's Speedway actually started as a go-kart track uh, years ago, way back when. It was World Karting Association. It was one of the nicest go-kart tracks there was. Through the years, Bobby uh, tore that down and got this dream of building a late model regular racetrack that was racer friendly and family friendly. To give the young kids something to do, something positive, to keep them focused, and it's done right here at this Speedway. So no matter where you're at in the country, we invite you to come down. We have some of the biggest races this year coming up in the 2019 racing season, such as the Asphalt Legends Nationals will be held here. That'll bring over 200 of the legend cars. Some of the finest drivers in the country will be here on the week of October the 19th. So we invite you to come to that. You know, throughout the year, we host a cars tour. Hi, I'm Alexis Stephan. I'm here at Bobby Watson's Carter County Speedway for the late model stock cars tour and the Coastal Coast 125. We've hosted the um, mini stock nationals, the finals, they're here uh, also in November. So the season goes throughout the year. 
Also, we have concerts, which is an entertainment complex. We also hosted the National Day of Prayer. Here at Carter County Speedway, we believe in God, country, and racing in that order. And uh, we start with the uh, um, National Anthem, and our motto around here for the National Anthem is this right here. If you don't stand for the National Anthem, you're welcome to leave. We support our country. We support our military. We're surrounded by Camp Lejeune, also Cherry Point, North Carolina. So we appreciate the folks out there watching that have served their country. We invite y'all to come out here. We'll have a military appreciation. We already have one. We'll have one before the end of the year. Again, to recognize our military, also first responders, charities. Uh, along the way, you know, years ago and for the past 17 years, I've run a place called Second Blessings Community Outreach and More right here in Moorhead City. And that all stemmed from me and Bobby becoming friends some 30 some years ago and Bobby um, seeing that Second Blessings Community Outreach ministry grow. And uh, so Bobby in turn supported that as I supported this racetrack. And so there you have where that friendship and that kinship um, started from. And now it's my obligation and my pleasure and honor to keep his dream alive, to give families something to do, to keep families together and uh, do the best that we can in recognizing our country and the service uh, that our military men and women have given us so we can have the right to come here and be all that we can be uh, out here at this Speedway. So like I said before, I know you can find more information on, on, the, on the website carteratspeedway.com, also our Facebook page. Um, please log on to them, see the video, and see for yourself. But nothing beats coming out here. We have sweeps available. We have uh, a Speedway Club. We have a lot of opportunities, a lot of places that you can watch some of the finest racing you've ever wanted to watch. From the Champ Carts, right on up from the Mini Cups, Mini Stock, U-Car, Legends, Street Stock, and late model. Um, so we also host special events such as the Ground Pounders, uh, Flathead Fords. They come by and visit us every once in a while. It just goes back to that nostalgia that Bobby Watson's Carter County Speedway has. From start to finish, you will not find a nicer track in the United States that you want to come visit. And I, I thank y'all again. I thank, uh, you know, for y'all, the ones that have been out here before, I thank Solid Rock Carriers, one of our major sponsors out here. And, and two, as we go out and you'll get a look at the Speedway here in a little bit, you'll see all the billboards. This weekend, for example, Harley Davidson of Newburn, also Moore's Barbecue, just to name a couple. They'll be hosting their race this weekend along with Solid Rock. And August the 10th, $10,000 late model race. So it's just like that um, all the time something. And like you said, please log on to carteratspeedway.com. Also log on to our Facebook page to find out more about what's going on here in the upcoming future. And thank you again for tuning in. Hey, um, I'm Joseph Bell, and um, I drive number 43 in the Mini Cup class at, at Carter County Speedway. Yeah, this is my first year racing, and um, yeah, I got... My my inspiration to actually do this was uh, my my grandfather, which um used to race in, in the old times. My cousins Morgan and Carmen, and and well, just for the fun of it, and uh, so yeah, I re my first race was on the firecracker class this year, and um, so I just want yeah, it's fun coming down here to race it, uh, even though it's my second race is this weekend, and um. If you want, just come on down. It's um, it's pretty fun. It's, it's fun watching racing. It's fun to even do it. If you want to get a good mini cup like mine, go to Mini Cup USA. Good mini cups, low prices. That's where I got mine. And yeah, I got this today. I'm it's Wednesday, and I'm practicing them today. But uh, yeah, there's nothing really much to say. But but yeah, racing's fun. It's fun to watch it, and I've only raced once, but it's, I love it. My number's 43, I, um, it's kind of a weird way you get into the car, because, um, you don't get in, you don't take the net down and put, and, um, climb in through the window, like you usually, 
like you do in the NASCAR, but uh, you um get a you um get open the top up because there's a little hatch on it, and um you climb in, close the hatch, turn it on, you, you go. It's so yeah. I'm Jeremy Blessing from the Blessing Music Academy and I'm here today to tell you a little bit about what the Blessing Music Academy does. We offer private lessons that are mobile lessons where we come to your home and do lessons. We offer online lessons where you can go on the internet and download the lessons that we have. And we also have a studio where we can do music instruction and we can do recording and work on audio projects. Besides the music lessons, we also are expanding and we will be offering certification on exotic animal care. We will be having dance classes that will be available. We will be offering martial arts courses that will be available online. We will also be offering some personal training courses as well as um, some cheerleading stuff. And we are very excited to be able to expand what the Blessing Music Academy can do. There will also be some acting things on there that you will be able to check out. So you'll want to be sure to visit BlessingMusicAcademy.com often as we will be adding stuff as we can. So besides the music lessons that we have, you can see that there will be many other things that we will have uh, with the Blessing Music Academy. So be sure to check out BlessingMusicAcademy.com to see all the new great products and, and classes that we will be having. Thank you.